This video is going to show how to use the Xbox controller with ROS. I'll show how to install the driver and then configure. So I'll just be stepping through the tutorial here. I found this tutorial to be a little tricky, so I'll try to talk about some of the bugs I ran into. Uh, or well, probably not bugs, but all right. So let's begin. This code or this line right here didn't have any problems. So sudo apt get install. Um, I've already done it, so I'm, you're not going to see quite what I see. So my computer recognizes it's already installed. Um, you will probably have to say yes. All right. So now we're going to see. Well, now we connect it, and then we see if our computer is detecting it. All right, so I see it as JS0. Um, so that's good. I found that even this non-wireless controller can show up as 4, JS0, JS1, JS2, JS3. Uh, and that was a frustrating issue. So now we'll test it, see if we're communicating. And then it ends with JSX. I want to change that to JS0 because that's the one I'm interested in here. All right, so now when I move my controller knob, just kind of twisting around, I see I'm getting reactions, so that's great. So I'm going to control C. We have communication. So now let's list our permissions. So control shift V, and again, you need to change that last value to JS0. All right, so I've already kind of gone through this, I guess. Um, so I just ran this permission line right here and it gave me this line so I see that we have CRW slash RW slash RW um, and so according to this our device is configured properly let's say it wasn't um, you would see a dash R dash dash or you'd see nothing in those two spots or maybe some other combination if that was the case, you run this line and just make sure you change that X to zero if that's the one you're working with. So anyways, once you run that, you'll be right on board. So let's go ahead um, and set this as a default. So this is just ROS parameter set join node. Um, leave the parentheses, but make sure you fix that X, change it to a zero in our case. Oh, okay, so to do that, you have to have the ROS master up, so ROS core. I'll do what I was just going to do in this other window. Um, So I think I have it already pasted, so Let's see if that works. All right, it worked. And now the next step is to just run the node. So I'm going to say Ross run, joy, which is my folder, and then joy node. All right, so you, all you see is that it's connected. It opened the joystick on the correct port. And then it's just stating some fact about the dead zone. So now uh, you don't see anything, but now if I go to a new terminal and I say Ross topic echo joy, um, well, first, Ross topic list is what you would typically do in this case. You'd see that you have a joy, which we know is what the name of our driver here, or our folder. So Let's go back to Ross topic echo joy um, and I see something and when I move the uh, 
move my joystick, I can see that it's communicating. All right, so that's how to connect it. Okay, uh, and one quick thing I'd like to point out is when you shut down your computer and turn it on again, I found that if your Xbox controller is plugged in when you when you turn it on again, you'll run into issues. You won't be able to, to won't be able to connect. So what I do is I unplug my Xbox controller um, at the end of each session, and then so when I turn on next time, it's not plugged in, and I plug it in after um, after I get my Ross Core open. Uh, I don't think that order matters too much. Just don't boot up with it in. Alright, thanks for watching.